Breaking news here on this Tuesday morning, the Hangzhou Spark have announced the contract termination of MCD. This stuff literally just came out of nowhere. I was browsing Twitter, then all of a sudden I see a post five minutes ago by the Spark saying the following. Today, the Hangzhou Spark was made aware of an incident involving MCD's in-game behavior. MCD's actions and comments have broken the stipulation of the player contract. It also goes against the Hongshou Spark's team value. His action was not consistent with the expectation of the Hongshou Spark players and staff. As stated, Jung Ho MCD Lee's player contract will be terminated from today. He will no longer serve the role of the Hongshou Spark's flex support player. Signed, the Hongshou Spark Organization. I'm not one who likes to really talk about drama. It's not something I like to be a part of or discuss. I hate all of it. But this is an exception just because of the fact that MCD was a pretty big player on the Spark. He was their starter for pretty much the entire year up until recently. So obviously, this is a big deal that we kind of have to cover. MCD's actions now have the Spark down one of their biggest playmakers of the year. And it happened right around the time of the playoff starting. Play-ins are literally next week. The timing could not be worse. So the question is... Why? And how even? Well, I did some browsing on Twitter, and I came across an explanation very quickly in the Hongzhou Spark replies. The explanation comes from Twitter user Giant Omelette, and they said, Chinese fans are upset and angered by a clip of MCD, Hongzhou Spark flex support player, saying F you and effing Chinese to X-Ray, the Chengdu Hunters Academy team main tank during a ranked game. Now, it's entirely up to you on what you think of the situation and if the punishment was deserved or not, but the fact of the matter remains is what he said is rather racy, you know? If he was a Chinese player saying it to another Chinese player, maybe more people think of it as just a joke, but he's Korean saying this to a Chinese player, so it comes off as racist. Was it like extreme racism or like a hate crime or something? I mean, that's entirely up to you to decide. We're not going to go over that here on the channel. That's way too political for my liking, but the fact of the matter remains is that the Spark did not like what he said at all. Anyone who's been supporting the league for a few years now knows that the Hongzhou Spark is kind of a no-nonsense organization at this point. They want all people under their org to be compliant with their values and listen to all of the rules and stay out of trouble. Don't do anything ridiculous. Be honorable. Be kind, you know? After what happened with Crystal back in the day, can you really blame the Spark for taking more of a no-nonsense route and being so harsh with their punishments? I can totally understand why they want full obedience from all of their players after something like that. If you don't know what happened with Crystal back in the day if you maybe weren't supporting the league back in season two, let me get you up to speed super quick. So back in the day, Crystal requested for some time off or a temporary leave of absence, if you will, from the Spark to apparently go see a sick member of his family back in China. But apparently most of it just had to do with him simping for some girl. And then afterwards, instead of getting back into contact with the Spark, he kind of just ignored them for a good amount of time. And that made them really angry and understandably so. Keep in mind, they were very patient. They reached out multiple times. So I think at this point now, they've kind of lost all of their patience in that regard, and they're now in this mode of, hey, if you don't listen to us, we're going to do something about it, because we do not want a repeat of the Crystal situation. We don't want any more controversy. Whether the punishment was justified or not in your eyes doesn't really matter, because MCD got fired right before the playoffs. This is a first, I believe. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before. This is wild. MCD can really only blame himself here, because he didn't have to go so far. Yeah, a lot of people get scolded in ranked games all the time. You get flamed no matter what level you're at. It's going to happen. People get angry. But there is literally no reason whatsoever to bring up someone's race in that situation. It makes zero sense. Obviously, you always want to be polite and everything, but if you are going to go off on someone, just leave it at a quick, you know, F you, that's it, move on. Don't bring up that they're Chinese or anything ridiculous like that. I don't understand the logic there. Because of a very avoidable sentence that he didn't have to use, he has lost his potential future at the Overwatch watch league level. Yeah, someone may be willing to take a chance on him in the future just because of the fact that he's very, very talented. He's a very explosive playmaker. That much is obvious, but because there's controversy surrounding him now, it's very risky to pick him up. A lot of orgs might not be willing to go that far. MCD really let a lot of people down, including the fans, his teammates, his coaches, all of that. Not only is this a bad example of your character and it makes you seem like a much worse person than you are, but also, again, this is right before the playoffs are about to begin, and the Spark aren't exactly in the greatest spot right now. They can use all of the help they can get to go on some sort of potential miracle playoff run. No hate on Coldest, I really do like him, and I kind of wish he was getting playtime under better circumstances 
circumstances, but the fact of the matter remains is he does not have the type of ceiling that MCD has. That's just how it goes. Maybe some are going to argue, well, Coldus hasn't really gotten a shot to prove himself. Well, my response to that is MCD has been the one playing, and the same thing happened last year. Bebe was playing over Coldus. So clearly, the Spark don't value him that much. More than anything, though, I just feel so bad for all my Spark fans out there. Why the heck does it have to always be you guys? This is not what you needed right now. The Spark haven't been playing all that great lately. They just went oh and four on the countdown cup they didn't do that well in the summer showdown they've been treading water essentially since the june joust on top of that they've had an inconsistent coaching situation going on there's just so many problems you know this team needed confidence they needed some sort of boost in themselves to help get them through the plans and maybe go on a run and now they're in an even worse situation than before even less confidence even more drama to make them distracted stay strong spark fans my thoughts and prayers are with you anyway that's just about going to do it for this report slash my opinion on MCD's contract being terminated by the Hongzhou Spark. I will leave links to all of the sources I used in the description, and of course, make sure to let me know what you think of the situation down in the comment section. Give me your own take. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all things Overwatch League news related. And until next time, this is ATP, signing out. Peace.